Hello everyone. In this video, I'll talk about the RMS Prop Optimization Algorithm. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. RMS Prop or Root Mean Square Propagation tries to dampen the oscillations but in a different way when you compare it with Gradient Descent with Momentum. You might have also learned about adjusting the learning rate as you descend from the hill. Well, you don't have to do it manually. RMS Prop takes care of it. RMS Prop chooses a different learning rate for each parameter. That is what is unique about RMS Prop. In RMS Prop, each update is done based on the equation that I have just mentioned. So let me go over the equations. In RMS Prop, you start off by computing V of t, which is not equivalent to the velocity term in case of gradient descent with momentum. This V of t is equated to beta of V of t minus 1. Generally, the range of beta in case of RMS prop is close to 0 0.999. You take the previous V of t minus 1 and you add it to the value of 1 minus beta times into the square of the cost that you incur at the current step, that is G of t the whole square. Now that you've computed V of t, we'll go forward and update the weights. So the way you update weights is equal to W new equal to W old which is your old weight minus eta times divided by the ratio of B of t plus epsilon where epsilon is a very small value. This epsilon term helps you compute the values even when V of t is 0. So we add a very small value in case of epsilon that is close to 10 to the power minus 8 and you have the V of t term in the denominator. And you again multiply that with the cost value that is there. Rather than having a global fixed learning rate like 0.1 or 0.01, we have a vector of learning rates for each trainable parameter. In case of a two dimensional space wherein you have y equal to mx plus c kind of a realization that you want, in such a case you will have two vectors each for your bias or your intercept term and the second would be for the weight value that you have. The algorithm is updated iteratively with a running average of magnitudes of square of previous gradients, which is this part of the equation. Due to this, what happens is changes to the weights during training are not purely in the direction of the gradient, but rather in the direction of the element wise division of the gradient by this vector that you are maintaining. So essentially what I am trying to communicate here is given if I have two cases that is my intercept term and my weight term, then the weight update would be proportional not just on the gradient direction, it won't account for the gradient as it is. What it will account for is the gradient at the current value, square it up. So once you square the gradient, you will have positive values and you calculate this term V of t. This V of t sits in the denominator side. So this is what dictates the overall learning rate. So now you will have variable learning rates for different parameters basis the value of v of t in that particular direction. So this value which is eta divided by the square root of v of t plus epsilon dictates how quickly you move towards the global minimum value that is there. So this is the advantage of using RMS prop optimization algorithm. One direct advantage that you get when you start using RMS prop is you can start with very high values of learning rate and you don't have to worry for the whole equation to diverge. Essentially what happens is given this learning rate decays with respect to the gradient that is computed for that particular direction, it will automatically adjust the learning rate in order to converge to that global minimum value that is there. So this is one straight advantage that you can utilize when you start using RMS prop. Now that this idea is clear to you, let's move forward and see the visualization for RMS prop. As you can clearly see, the trajectory is very controlled. It does not deviate from its path a lot. So it also converges much more quickly when you compare it with gradient descent. That is your vanilla version of gradient descent. So using RMS prop, there are a lot of advantages that you can utilize in order to converge quickly. In the next video, I'll show you the advantages of combining both momentum based algorithms as well as RMS prop to converge quickly and more stably, which is where Adam's optimizer comes into picture. So stay tuned for the next video.
and i hope you found this video informative if you do like the content that i post on my channel it would be really helpful if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for future amazing videos on data science and machine learning thank you so much for watching the video